Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Let's make shrimp loaded filet mignon with a side potato. So I have here my filet mignon and I'm gonna go ahead and season it. And with the season, you can either choose to use salt and pepper and that's it. But I added one special ingredient that I use for all my steaks and that is a beef flavored season. And I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle and rub it and just put some on the chopping board and roll it so it can stick to it perfectly and beautiful. This is a dinner for family of three. And I'm going to go ahead and put it on the plate and keep it on the side. And I have the side of my shrimp that I'm going to season. If you know shrimp, you do not have to season it much. So I'm using a little bit of pinch of salt and a little bit of black pepper and i'm going to be using seafood seasoning this season is the best is sazon is adobo sazon is the best seafood season ever on the market and i'm going to go ahead and just rub it rub it and make sure everyone is coated and i'll put it right next to the filet mignon and make it sit to marinate for a while and i have here my other steak and i'm going to be doing the same thing to it salt and pepper and my favorite steak like season this is the best steak season ever and i love it so much so make sure you use all your favorite ingredients and i'm using this uh, pepper now rub it in and make sure everything is coated and i'll put it on the plate as well to rest and this is the potato it's nicely washed and we're gonna pat dry it like a baby so all the water is off the potato look how beautiful it looks and i'm gonna go ahead and use a fork to make sure i poke all three of the potatoes and i'll be back once everything is coated i'm gonna go ahead and put it in the microwave for five minutes and if you have a microwave it has a potato section just put it on and once it's out i'm gonna go ahead and pour olive oil on top of my already started cook potato i guess it cooks it and i'm gonna go ahead and season with salt and pepper and i'm gonna go ahead and rub it so beautiful this is gonna make this skin super crunchy and taste better don't skip this if you have to you can skip it but don't skip it if you don't have to that's what i meant so it's just gonna go ahead and rub it and do the same thing to the other side just some crushed salt and pepper and you have your potato nice and done and i'm gonna tell you i have invested in this air fryer and it is the best investment ever i have it for the past three years and it is the most easiest cook that i've ever had so i'm gonna go ahead and throw my potatoes in there and put it on like 35 minutes to bake its own thing and i'm gonna close it. this is that instant air fryer is the best investment and on the other side i'm gonna be cooking my steak so i go ahead and put a little bit of olive oil on the bottom then i will steer steer i don't know what the word sear the meat on both sides for a minute this is to lock in any flavor that comes out of the steak so you want to just block it from getting out i hope i explain myself better you just gotta make sure you do both sides a minute or if you can go two more minutes to make it extra golden brown but this is beautiful for me to see a both side and i'm gonna go ahead and flip it back onto the other side and i'm gonna put a ton of butter in there this is gonna give it the extra golden flavor this butter is gonna be cooking there's no harm in putting a lot of butter and at this point you can add some rosemary fresh rosemary and garlic but i'm not doing that so i'm just gonna go ahead with the butter I'm just gonna keep putting it on top just like this and flipping it once in a while so both sides can cook at the same time beautiful but but for now i'm gonna be doing this up till my steak is nicely cooked and beautiful and look my stick is so cooked and beautiful and when you cut in this stick it's gonna be well cooked and beautiful and if you like your steak medium rare make sure you check the time that you baking it or you making it so very good so my potato is done i'm gonna go ahead and cut into two and i'm gonna use my fork we're gonna mash it to become a mashed potato 
this is the most easiest mashed potato you can make but tastes good and i've seen restaurants adding like you can add uh sour cream cheese and all this stuff but i'm gonna go ahead and add butter and i'm gonna be mixing it into it to make it extra fluffy and nice and that's how we're gonna be enjoying this homemade potato mashed potato it's like a potato but mashed potato mashed potato in the potato so i'm gonna mash it just like this and make it look beautiful just like this and this is how our filet mignon is looking pink on the inside and nice and cook on the outside and we have our side potato and the other stick is still cooking and we're gonna get it off the flame i promise you this oil is not burned it's just colored because it has a lot and a lot of flavor and I'm not worried about this. And my husband keeps saying, you're going to burn us. It's not burning. I know what I'm doing. I've cooked this many times and you do not want to miss it thin. And my stick came out beautiful, nice and done. Tastes great as I wanted. And it was beautiful. I meant to add a side of broccoli, but they didn't like the broccoli so i didn't add it up even though i cook it i didn't add it up we just had our stick and potato with lots and lots of shrimps on top so my stick is almost done and you can see the blood bubbling from the side and i'll flip it one more time and it should be beautiful in no time because this is how you want to cook your stick make sure one side is cooking and you can flip it to let the other side cook as well because you want both sides to cook on the same temperature on the same time so they can help cook from both sides i don't know why i kept this video this side long but i think i might want to delete some and it just skipped or it didn't do it but this is how we going and you want to watch it just like this to cook and sizzle and bubbly just like this if you want you can skip this to the next chapter and see how nice and golden this steak came out and look how nice and golden my steak look and this is the side of our shrimp i went ahead and tossed it in the butter and i cooked it and look how beautiful this dinner looks i was so shocked that i made this but i make more of this so make sure you like and comment so i can make more thank you